Well, about a month ago, we talked about uh, Korea's first video artist, Park Hyun-gi, and today our Im Hyun-hee joins us with an in-depth look at the artist and the inspiration behind his work. Good afternoon, Yoon hee And Good I remember afternoon. us having this conversation about how mm -hmm. usually Park Nam Jun is more associated right. with uh, video art in Korea, but uh, in fact, Park Hyun-gi is the first is Korean. Exactly, Korea's very artist. first video artist, and it's a shame because he really did contribute so much to the development of video art here in Korea. Now, unfortunately, he passed early in 2000, uh, but an archive of over 20,000 pieces and collections from his works were put together, and an exhibition has opened at the National Museum of Modern and Contemporary Art here in Korea. Take a look. Where exactly does chaos meet order? The East meet the West. Korea's first video artist, Park Hyung-gi, explored where seemingly polar opposites clash, but also where they can coexist. Video art was a new artistic medium, not just for Park, but also for the world. And as for Park, media became just a tool. A tool for an artist bent on finding the place where traditions of Korea could harmonize with the new Western world and where nature coincides with humanity. These artworks are on the foundation of nature, but also on Korean traditions. He wanted to find harmony with Western formal language in Korea. Things like rocks, trees and rivers, they can be found around the world anywhere you go. And naturally for Park, they became art that harmonizes with humanity. And nature immediately became his focus, necessary to begin a piece. He would have to go looking for his materials in the great outdoors. The rocks gathered from nature would lead Pak to his works, like this video stone tower, a work that would become key pieces to the development of his career, that project the same image as you would expect to see in nature. Pak blurs a line between reality and illusion in this low-tech, naturally unnatural work. But his inspiration from nature goes much deeper than the materials he used. Pak found a continuous cycle in life, and he conveyed that flow through his video art, each screen capturing another step in the circuit. He found this flowing connected system in the world and the cosmos, but also in his own two hands. For Park, one of the most important images is the hand. The hand has five fingers, but also holds the five senses, the five elements, and even the universe. The hand is close to you. It's something you use and see every day. So for Park, this was a big part of his search to find harmony in our world. Park continually strove to think of ways of preserving the traditions of Korea, while still adapting to a rapidly Western and modern world. He was always looking for a unique angle of Korea. And as a result of his perseverance, he just may have found that perfect center. So Park kyung gi took a much, uh, a much different approach from Peng Nam Jun when it comes to video art. Right, right. So Park kyung gi was really known for his low technology approach to video art. So he'd use photography, he'd use like still shots. So he would still use TVs and uh, screens, but he would also you know, try to keep that, that style because he felt that that was close to his, uh, I guess, draw to nature. And so he wanted to keep that flow going. Mm -hmm. So then why is uh, Peng Nam Jun's work better known and more recognized around the world? Right, so Peg Nam Jun is actually Korean American, and so most of his career was spent abroad, and he did learn as well as mentor uh, artists abroad. But Park Hyung Gi wanted to stay with his Korean roots. He stayed in Korea for his career as well, and so he wanted to incorporate that as well as Korean heritage into his works. And you can really see that stylistic difference in their works. Um, so that's probably one of the reasons why Park Hyung Gi was not as internationally well known as Peg Nam Jun. Mm -hmm. All right, okay, thank you very much. A different look at the video artist Park Hyung Gi. Thank you for your report today, Yuni. You're very welcome.